वेलकम बैक कैस वी आर जस्ट वन डे अवे फ्रॉम द पी सी रिलीज ऑफ लास्ट ऑफ अस पार्ट टू री मास्टर्ड द ओरिजिनल गेम वॉज रिलीज इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ऑन प्ले स्टेशन फोर इन इंडिया इट्स प्राइस एट अराउंड रुपीज थर्टी थ्री हंड्रेड इन यू एस इट्स प्राइस एट अराउंड फिफ्टी डॉलर्स आई विल बी कवरिंग द गेम डे वन ऑफ इट्स रिलीज आई परचेज इट एट अ चीपर प्राइस कम्पेयर टू स्टीम फ्रॉम ग्रीन मैन गेमिंग इफ यू हैव इट्स एक्स पी गोल्ड टीयर मेम्बरशिप यू कैन बाय द गेम फॉर अराउंड रुपीज टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी वन It's the cheapest price you'll find for the game on the internet. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Nitex Free OptiScaler mod to combine XCSS version 2 of Scaler with the game's official FSR frame generation implementation. The game was updated a couple of months ago. Developers added support for FSR 3.1 upscaler and frame generation, but the upscaler is not decoupled from frame gen. To make things worse, this game does not even support XCSS upscaler, and FSR upscaler in this game produces Some noticeable texture shimmering in the environment. DLSS subscaler produces considerably less texture shimmering compared to FSR, but it's exclusive to RTX GPUs. XCSS works on RAW GLA that has an AMD based GPU, Radeon 780M. I'll inject XCSS in this game via OptiScaler mod. First, I'll show you the mod setup process on RAW GLA. We'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler. Can be downloaded for free from OptiScaler's GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Expand the assets section. This is the build that I'll be using. Version 0.7.7, Preview 7, 2025, 0401. Click on the .7 zilli. Open OptiScaler's archive file. Copy the highlighted files. Four of them. Need to paste them in the Games Install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right-click, Manage. Click on Browse Local Files. Need to paste the mod files in this directory. Replace. Just change the name of optiscaler. dll file to dxgi. dll. Rename. Now open optiscaler. ini file. From here, just set dx12 upscaler to xcss. This is the upscaler that we'll be using. Frame gen. Fg type is set to auto by default. Just set it to no fg. We won't be using OptiScale as FG. Now scroll down until you find Opti FG section. Enable set to auto. Just set it to false. I'll also disable spoofing. Scroll down until you find spoofing section. From here, just set DXGI to false. Just click on File, Save. Close. We are ready to run the game. Enter the lens settings for the game. Free sync on, B sync on, anti lag setting enabled. I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My life setting on BIOS version 341. Install AMD GPU driver. Enter the lens edition version 25.3.1. Using a 30 watts manual profile. All three power values are at 30 watts. 900p resolution. CPU boost disabled. Connected my 8 bit to Ultimate 2C controller to ROG Ally via 2.4 GHz wireless mode. I'll use a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. Now it's the game. In game settings, display mode set to borderless windowed, 900p resolution, VSync off, no FPS cap applied, frame generation disabled for the time being. Upscaler just set it to FSR 3.1. Using its quality preset, sharpening level set to 35. Motion blur is disabled. I'm using the medium preset with post processing effects disabled. Quickly scroll down. So many options. There's the post processing section. Depth of field off. Motion blur quality off. Estimated VRAM usage 5.3 GB. Open OptiScaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. There it is. I'll increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to UI scale. Still small. Select 1.2. Much better now. Yeah, from this drop-down bar, select XCSS Upscaler, it's version 2.0.1. Frame generation, no frame generation selected from the mod menu. Just enable Auto Explorer setting from here. Save INI. See the base resolution and upscale resolution. Using the upscaler's quality preset, scale 1.5. Close. There's Joel. 
Just observe the guard railing here, the fine textures wanted to highlight the difference in terms of image quality between FSI and XCSS. Some minor texture shimmering is produced when I move towards the guard railing. I'll just switch to FSR upscaler, open optiscaler menu. From this drop down was select FSR 3.x, apply. It's version 3.1.3. Back to the game. Now look at that ugly texture shimmering effect. It's so bad. FSR upscaler struggles so hard when it comes to rendering fine textures. Aliasing issue can be observed on these wires. I'll go back to XCSS upscaler. Apply. Aliasing issue got resolved. This is amazing. Image quality is looking so clean. Okay, I'll engage in combat now. Before that, let's enable in game FSR frame generation. On. Apply. The game may crash after toggling frame generation setting. Do not worry, just restart the game. Setting will apply. When you try to start it again, this prompt will pop up, run in safe mode. Just click on no. It was a GPU crash. We are in. Check the display settings. Frame generation should be enabled from here. There you go. We are in. FPS increased to around 70. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Latency increased, but it's manageable keep an eye on the frame pacing graph should be a flat line if there is no stuttering stealth kill use my gun <laughs> got detected flashlight off oh my god it's a very smooth experience if you stay close to 70 you can always drop the settings and resolution to improve the performance. Board game is definitely playable. Even using the medium settings, 900p resolution, I had to reload at the worst possible time. I'm getting shot at from all sides. Just trying to use my melee weapon there. Work. Got shot again. Should be the last guy. He's <laughs> done. That was brutal. It's a very good performance on Raw Galap. If you observe Joel's character carefully, you see some ghosting around his head when I move the camera in complete circle. See? This ghosting effect does not occur when I move the camera at a normal speed like this. Okay, I'll just run the game on low settings now. Graphics preset set to low. Back to the game. We have gained about 10 FPS after dropping the graphical preset from medium to low. Entirely up to you which preset you want to use. You can also drop the resolution from 900p to 720p. I would not recommend doing that. The image quality is looking so clean. I recommend you to play the game at 900p resolution. Now I'll be testing it on Steam Deck. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. Download the latest nightly build of OptiScaler from its GitHub page. I'll give its link in the description. Expand the asset section. Just click on the .7z link. This is the build that I'll be using. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Here you'll find OptiScaler's archive file that you downloaded earlier. I have transferred it to another directory. Does not matter. There it is. Just open it. Need to extract the following files. Four of them. Select them, drag and drop them outside of this archive window. Close. Select them again. Copy. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste the mod files here. Apply to all override. Change the name of optiscaler.tll to txchai.tll. Now just open optiscaler.ini file. There it is. Set tx12 of scalar to xcss. Set fg type to no fg. 
as we'll be using the game's official FSR frame generation implementation under OptiFG section just set enable to false scroll down until you find the spoofing section there it is from here just set TXGI to false click on save here close the file need to add a launch option to the game select the game in your steam library click on the settings cog here click on properties click on general under launch option add this line of text i'll provide in the description of the video you can copy it from there and paste it here using g proton version 9-27 as the compatibility layer we are ready to run the game i'll switch to steam OS game mode this game is marked as steam deck verified but the performance is far from ideal the game produces some audio crackling issue this is the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate. Performance QM settings. OLED level set to 2. I have disabled SteamOS basing by enabling disable frame limit and unlock tearing settings. Uncap the FPS. And that's it. In game settings. 800p resolution. Basing off, no FPS cap applied, FSR 3.1 upscaler enabled using its performance preset, rendered resolution 640 by 400 pixels, sharpening level 35, motion blur is off, using the low preset, even with the low preset and upscaler preset set to performance, deck will struggle to maintain a steady 30 FPS in this game in some levels audio crackling issue will be produced open optiscaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key there it is increase its size as well just make sure upscaler is set to xcss apply version 2.0.1 check auto exposure setting click on save ini close if you don't have a keyboard just map the insert keyboard key to any of steam deck's back grip buttons we are in this joel do it the same sequence a hair fps is within a range of 35 to 40 you can touch cpu load 87 percent audio is crackling i'll just enable the in-game fsr frame generation setting now animation here is looking a bit choppy just set frame generation to on apply game won't crash on steam deck open performance game settings enable manual gpu clock setting and set the clock speed to 1400 MHz. back to the game the fps increased to around 60 can observe the added amount of smoothness but just look at that input delay it's way too high not surprised here considering the base fps was close to 30 audio is crackling not the ideal experience on steam deck audio is failing again cpu load 98 percent this game is very heavy on the cpu for some reason not an open world game oh, you are losing its mind so optiscalar mod works very nicely it does its job it places in game fsr upscaler with xcss version 2 can be combined with the games official fsr frame generation implementation so that's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.